Hello, I'm Todd McCrack, and I'm the president of the National Small Business Association. And I want to talk to you for a little bit about a really important issue as this year comes to a close, and that is the tax treatment of the Paycheck Protection Program loans that many of our members got earlier this year. Uh, our surveys indicate that most of our members received a Paycheck Protection Program, and arguably the most important component of that is the forgiveness portion, uh, which enables companies who spent that the, the loan proceeds primarily on compensation for their staffs it enables them to have uh, forgiveness of that portion of the loan. Under normal circumstances, that forgiveness would be treated as income uh, to the company and therefore taxed. Uh, but when the legislators passed that bill, they made us put a special provision in to ensure that taxation would not occur. So this was a real benefit to the small business community. Um, and they made sure that that forgiveness would uh, not be counted as income. But on the other end, the IRS has come along and said that, uh, well, that's fine, but we're also not going to make those expenses deductible if you receive uh, forgiveness for them. So ordinarily, all those expenses are deductible uh, business expenses, so they aren't taxed. So by, by lowering the amount that can be deducted, even uh, uh, what we wind up with is the forgiveness doesn't matter. If legislators had realized that the, the IRS would say this, there would be no point in, in uh, having included this in the, in the bill. So we think there's an opportunity at the end of this year to get this fixed and to show real congressional uh, an intent uh, and to get this fixed for the small business community. Because um, as I said, originally, if, if, uh, if, uh, if they hadn't made sure that the forgiveness was uh, not counted as taxable income, then the IRS wouldn't have disallowed the deductions and it would have been a wash. So clearly Congress intended for this to be tax-free money to the small business community. Um, and right now it's not. So if a company, for instance, received a $500,000 loan, because they get forgiven, they're say in a 30% tax bracket, they're going to face a, an additional $150,000 in taxes. Uh, that they weren't expecting because they were led to believe earlier this year that those uh, funds would be non-taxed. So uh, we urge you to write your congressman, uh, let them know about this issue, how important it is. Um, and uh, uh, we have action alerts on our website at nsba.biz in our action center where you can do just that. So uh, uh, as the year comes to a close, uh, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but also th I think the good news is that uh, we have a real opportunity to get this fixed and, and to move forward in a productive way. So thanks a bunch, and uh, thanks for all you do on behalf of small business.